This video is about scalp. Subscribe this channel for more videos. Let's move on the topic. What is scalp? It is the soft tissue covering or envelope of the cranial vault. It extends anteriorly to supraorbital margins and posteriorly to the external orbital protuberance and superior nuchal lines. And on each side it extending to superior temporal lines. We should know about the layers of scalp. How many layers are there for scalp? And what are all? Next we will move on to the layers and its detailing. Scalp is made up of five layers. It can be remembered through the mnemonic scalp. So S for skin. C for connective tissue that is superficial fascia. A for aponeurosis. L for loose aerolar tissue and finally P for pericranium. Let's move on the detailing of each layer. First one is skin. Skin is thick and hairy and it is adherent to the epicranial neurosis same as in the palms and soles. Next layer is superficial or subcutaneous fascia. It is more fibrous and dense in the center than at the periphery of the head. Third layer is deep fascia. Anteriorly this receives the insertion of frontalis and posteriorly from occipitalis. Fourth layer of the scalp is made up of loose aerolar tissue. It extends anteriorly into the eyelids because the frontalis muscle has no bony attachment. Posteriorly extends to the highest and superior nuchal lines. Fifth layer of the scalp is pericranium, loosely attached to the surface of the bones. Next is the arterial supply of scalp. In front of the auricle the scalp is supplied by the supratrochlear, supraorbital, superficial temporal arteries. Then behind the auricle the scalp is supplied by posterior auricular and occipital arteries. Supratrochlear and supraorbital veins are the venous drainage of scalp. These veins unite at the medial angle of the eye and forms angular vein. Next lymphatic drainage. The anterior part of the scalp drains into the parotid lymph nodes and posterior part of the scalp drains into the mastoid and occipital lymph nodes. The scalp and temple are supplied by 10 nerves on each side. 5 nerves from the center in front of the auricle and the remaining 5 enter behind the auricle. Let's check some points related to this topic. First three layers of scalp are called surgical layers of the scalp. Scalp has rich blood supply because both the two system that is internal and external carotid arteries are anastomizing over the temple.